Well, it's very true. I can confirm that. And um, if you talk about minerals, graphite, um, gold, oil, these are things that that um, brings development to that area. And I expect that the exploration, when it starts, we, we expect that uh, the community around that area should really benefit. However, I have challenges with uh, some of the things that were left out in the agreement, the MOU, that probably it was because um, they didn't pay attention, the leadership did not pay attention, or the discussion was not stretched further. Because some of the things I see which were not captured is the issue of like, building a school to support this community, issues of hospitals, issues of technical training. Honorable Abe Lilian, the indirectly elected member of parliament of Kigum municipality, has said that she is bothered by the fact that men also vote for women or uh, for women MPs. That's what she says. Oh, well, technically, there is no female MP or woman MP in Uganda. And uh, as expected, Honorable Abe Lilian, with due respect, should have known that one. It's a surprise. And the fact that uh, she said that she's bothered also had more question into uh, how the mentality or the state of mind of our dear member of parliament could be and of course with being a woman member of parliament it's been very very heavy you carry a burden of first of all being voted by everybody not only the women now let's look at uh, something which is so unique men always say that they are bothered by the fact that women love gossiping and scientific evidence are there according to springer uh, a scientist says that uh, it was found that people who were competitive towards members of their own sex had a greater tendency to gossip they were also more comfortable with the practice than others. Women had a greater tendency to gossip than men, and they also enjoyed it more, and so more value in participating in such chit chat. Now, uh, the technical part of me saying that uh, member of parliament, we don't have women member of parliament or female member of parliament, Yes, there is directly elected member of parliament, which represents only male. That is directly. Then, the indirectly, the, I mean, there is indirectly elected member of parliament, uh, which represents only the female. Then, directly elected member of parliament, which represents any category. So, a woman can contest in the position of directly member elected member of parliament that doesn't mean that the woman is contesting under men and the same men can also contest under directly but men cannot contest under indirectly it's preserved for women just to promote women in leadership the worrying fact that she's bothered by uh, men voting for uh, women in this uh, Uganda's system of politics is that has shocked a lot of people around the globe. And of course, with being a woman member of parliament, it's been very, very heavy. You carry a burden of, first of all, being voted by everybody, not only the women. Well, uh, Mr. Samuel, Lemoyne reacted from Australia using his Instagram account saying that I wonder what kind of a woman MP is a bear. I'm shocked. Does she mean that men should not vote for women? What is she trying to say? Is she promoting uh, segregation based on gender? 
Well, uh, Halion, oh recently a bear, was uh, pressured about wearing the army uniform. And uh, in the previous year, a bear suffered a kind of devastating uh, action from the community when they threw away uh, maize back into uh, the truck that had brought it. It's one pengeo, two pengeo, three pengeo, na pengeo, one can pengeo, the other one can't pengeo. In the year, the judge, we do any, one was taking, but one, the other one can't pengeo.